morning and today I am sharing how I make this spiral balloon tower. It has no helium, it doesn't require stamp, and it's very affordable. I think I ended up spending just under 20 bucks for um, enough materials to make two of these. Okay, so these are all the materials you will need to create the balloon tower. You need some balloons, of course, so just any balloons of your choice, whatever colors you guys want. You need about maybe 28 to um, make the size of the one that I made, and that's about six feet tall. And then some kind of topper. I chose a crown, so this is um, that helium balloon, but I'm just going to be filling it with air. It's the foil kind. And then you need some kind of string to tie them all together. You can use the regular balloon string, but I personally like to use some fishing line because it kind of is invisible and it's much easier to work with. So I just like using this one and then you can always just fill the balloons up with your own like mouth and air, but that's gonna take forever. So if you guys are able to get one of these balloon pumps, they are very affordable on Amazon, under $20, and they're very convenient to use. So I have this electric balloon pump, which I will be using to fill up the balloons, and that is all you will need. So let's get to making this balloon tower. So first things first, you are going to fill up all of the balloons and ideally you want them to be all the same size. Here I am simply trying to eyeball it and just go from there. But if you really want to make it uniform, you can always use a balloon sizing guide. But I don't find that they are very necessary unless you again want it to be exactly the same. So now that I have my balloons all filled up, I'm going to go and pick out um, pairs. So I will tie all the navy blues with the clear and speckled confetti ones. And then I'll go around and do the same with the rest or like the red one or a rose gold one with these white. So just to pair all of these balloons up and then I will take those pairs and make them into quartets as you guys will see right here. So to tie them, I'm just going to simply make a normal knot. So I will take each one, if you guys can see there, pull the little neck area and then twist it around once. Pull and just tie the knot. So there's one pair and I will continue to do the same with the rest of them. pairs of this pink and the clear with the little sparkles and pairs of the blue with the white. I'm going to take both of these pairs and then place them like this on top of each other. So like that. And then just pretty much take one of the balloons and twist it around to get a good grip on them and an arrangement that I like. So in this case, this is what I am going to go with. Um, the blue across from the pink and then these two across from each other You can really just play around with it twist it and change it up however you want But, but you want to make sure that all the other ones end up looking just like this first one so Okay, so now you can see I have seven total quartets so seven of these little four set arrangements and now what we're going to do is we're going to take the string so in this case my fishing line and I am going to start weaving it in the center right there and then I am going to take another quartet and place it right above it so again we want to make sure that they're in the same location and you're pretty much going to place this blue one on top of the blue one. So just a little bit offset like that. That way, once you start stacking them, it starts doing the spiral all the way around. So let's start with threading the bottom one and then we'll attach this one with that same thread. Okay, so now to begin assembling the tower, I simply took my fishing line, which is here. I know you guys may or may not see it, um, but I just 
tied a knot here in the center with the balloons. And now I'm going to take another quartet, making sure it's in the same pattern again, and simply placing it here. And still with my line right in the center, I'm going to take it and just weave it on top, come down and just go around the balloons, making sure it's all nice. And then now those two quartets are tied and we will just continue doing the same with the rest until we reach the top. to wrap it around the balloons right underneath it. And there you guys have it. As you can see, this balloon tower stands all on its own. But if you guys want to just add that extra stability, you can go ahead and take a separate balloon and simply just fill it up with some water or just something to add that weight. Or you can even use one of those balloon weights that you can find at Dollar Tree and simply attach it right at the bottom. So let me go fill this up with water and I'll show you guys just how to do that. Okay, so I have my water balloon here, as you guys can see there. And now what I'm going to do is, on the base of the balloon tower, I'm going to just kind of slide this balloon here in the center. And then just, and then just tie it around the bottom. I hope you guys can see right through that balloon over here. And I just tied it. And now we let it go. And then that balloon back there acts as a weight so that this balloon tower goes nowhere. And there you have it. Now I have two um, spiraled balloon columns for my kids' royal ball birthday party. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys found this helpful. Give it a like if you did. Subscribe if you are new. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye, guys.